everybody. Nick with Any Farm Life here. It literally just started sleeting as I hit record on the uh, camera here. Beautiful 30, 35 degree day here in Indiana. It actually is beautiful too. One of my favorite days. It's revealing the new toy, I mean revealing a new implement here at Any Farm Life. So a little bit of backstory here is that uh, this is something I've had my eyes on for several months now and decided to finally pull the trigger on it and actually ordered it back in November. As with everything in COVID, ordering is backlogged, supply chain issues, what have you. I'm not going to go into all of it, but I have just finally received my newest purchase and I'm uh, excited to share that with you. Never mind the fact that my truck is absolutely filthy. So what we have here, got a little John Deere green, of course, it's any farm life. I present to you the newest implement, a Westendorf brush crusher. Yes, I said it, a brush crusher. I've been, uh, like I said, I did some research on these. They get some fantastic reviews for what they are um, on YouTube, several different channels out there. Um, Help me. Realize this is probably what I wanted for the 2520. And uh, I'll go into this a little bit more later, but the gist of it is that this is a mechanical grapple and it does not require any hydraulics on the front in the third service, which is something I just did not want to mess with the uh, time and cost on the 2520. So this is the next best option. I did order, uh, they have two different versions for the John Deere uh, 2 Series. I ordered the 4215, even though it has the 4200 model number on the side, the 4200 actually lacks the middle section here of these grapples. I believe both top and bottom, and they operate independently as two forks on the side, as the 4200 set up. The 4215, for not much more money, gives you two, these two center pieces which allows you to have clamps and claws or jaws or whatever you want to call them all the way the all the way across. So just like any quick hitch, John Deere style, you're gonna loop the loader right into there. And then it's got the mounting point down here. Even give you some pins there, that's nice. And uh, that'll load up. So time to put her on the tractor. So as you can see, lined up perfectly in the uh, mounting locations. The other one's just the same. So for those of you that don't, aren't really familiar with these, man, it is really starting to come down this sleet and snow. We'll keep it short and sweeter today. Um, but for those that you don't know, is that because this is fully mechanical, it's going to be using the tilt 
cylinders that normally rock your bucket that I took off over there. Normally rolling that bucket forward and backwards. So the movement from the tractor is coming through those cylinders and it moves the top jaws up and down. And then you actually have a pre-floating bottom jaw. So the best way to describe this is, is that if you actually adjust these bolts here all the way to the back, that's going to give you the widest opening. This is going to drop and take it back. We want to move these all the way up here to move this mechanism all the way forward, allowing it a maximum opening for your movable jaws. And as you'll see, That's the action of a, the top jaw is closing with the joystick of the tractor. So, what I can tell from all the online videos I've been watching, it takes a little bit of finessing and learning curve to get these things to work well. It's not your traditional hydraulic where you just open it, put it over your brush pile, your log, or whatever you have, and close it. You gotta learn how to finesse these movable jaws into the load that you're trying to pick up and then using the hydraulics to clamp over top of that. So I'm probably going to play with it some over the next couple weeks, and I'll put out another video, probably done a big, uh, build a big fire this weekend, hopefully, uh, and try this thing out a little bit and get some hours on it, and we'll see how she works, and we'll put up another video after that. So I appreciate you watching. As always, make sure you subscribe to us. We've always got something fun coming out. You know, it's winter time here in Indiana. We ought to be building more fires than what we are, but the weather just hasn't been the greatest. Personally speaking, I think this kind of weather right here is perfect for fires. Get those chainsaws out, get the new brush crusher to work, and we'll have some fun. We'll catch you later.